I had bloody Marys and then we walked through down to the boat shed for a punting ride so welcome and welcome to our channel Kavias ASMR and travel so let's go if you are new to our channel please subscribe thank you so much have a nice day everyone i hope everybody is okay we arrive at the boat shed and then we're going to ride there Bangka na walang cutting, so see, you know, there's so many birds in the river, so we'll wait for other couple to go with us. So let's go. Enjoy and relax. We are here now the at the punting station. We're going to ride the to go in Christchurch. Punting. Punting? Punting. The stars often even here. Winds its way through Croatia in a slow and easy fashion and ends up out of the estuary just up by New Brighton. So the river is only about 26 kilometres long from start to finish. If you had a kayak, you could possibly do the whole river in a day. Unlike the river, I'm not that short now to get on this next bridge. It's definitely the hardest part of my day. So just bear with this one second as we get on here. It's a bit of a tricky one. Yeah. We do, we do fit, but only just. You I'm think? quite tall and really not designed to get under small spaces. Yeah, this is actually my fourth hat because of this bridge. I've actually destroyed a few of them. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty consistent, um, but it will go up when it rains. Mm. So if it rains, the water level starts to rise. If we've had a few dry days, it might drop a little bit, but it's pretty much the same all, the, all year round. Okay, so welcome to Hackley Park. There's a cricket there today. Has anybody had a walk through the park yet? No. Sort of? Yeah? Uh, yes. Is everybody visiting Christchurch? Yes. Yeah. Uh, whereabouts is everybody from? Australia. Australia? Yeah. How about you guys at home? Whereabouts is home? <laughs> They're yeah, enjoying it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I'm originally from Timaru, which is just down the coast. Uh, but I moved to the UK when I was 14. Uh. So if my accent is hard to understand, it's because I lived in Wales for like 20 years. So if I say stuff like cruising or something like that, just ignore it. It's just through. I've only been back in New Zealand since 2015 myself. Okay, so welcome to Hagley Park. Uh, Hagley Park is the largest urban park in New Zealand. It's over 400 acres of open space in the middle of Christchurch. That's one of the reasons why Christchurch is nicknamed the Garden City. We are travelling between Hagley Park and the Botanical Gardens. So the hostel on our left hand side sits on the Greater Hagley Park side of the river. Whereas this house and this area on the right is the Botanical Gardens side of the river. Now to give you an idea of how large Hagley Park is, if you've walked through the Botanical Gardens on our right, you're only doing about one fifth of Hagley Park. The Botanical Gardens is only a small portion of the overall size of the whole area. Uh, we also have the Hagley Oval, the International Cricket Grounds here in the park. We have New Zealand's oldest golf course in the park. It's a 12-hole golf course and they built it in 1903. Uh, don't ask me why they stopped at 12 holes, they did have space for 18. But from what I've been told, if you want the 18 holes, you do your first six holes again. That's all I've been told. I don't know why they stopped at 12. Uh, there's lots of other sporting fields. There's a tennis club with about eight tennis courts. And there's a large open area in the park where we can hold concerts and events. Uh, the biggest event we stage here in the park is the Party at the Park concert at Christmas. It's a big free event, everybody comes out for that one. And we filled the event space with 130,000 people last time we did it. Effectively one quarter of the population of Christchurch was sitting here in the park. Now, to put that in some sort of perspective, I'm originally from Timaru, and Timaru doesn't even have 50,000 people in it. So it's a hell of a big night for Christchurch. Yeah, so Hagley Park here is one of the largest inner city parks in the world. Hmm. Uh, urban parks can be built anywhere in an urban zone. So they're built on the outskirts of cities, beaches or islands, and those type of parks do get really large. On the other hand, inner city parks are surrounded by the city on all, all sides. So they can't get any larger than they already are. 
Now the largest of our type of park in the world is Central Park in New York at 847 acres. It's roughly twice the size of Hackley Park. This park is officially 417 acres, which makes us number four in the world. Now we are up there with some pretty famous names. Uh, number five, for example, is Hyde Park in London, and that's 307 acres, and it's the largest in the UK. Now we are going to be coming up underneath our willow tree on the corner. It's one of our more favourite sites on the tour. Yeah, this tree is a rough, roughly the same age as the boat sheds. It's 140 years old. Wow. So this tree kind of gives you an idea of how old the boat sheds are. Now we do have a couple of our native ducks underneath the tree here. We've got these lovely paradise shell ducks, the tangy tangy ducks. The very noisy ones. And they're often found as couples. So the ones with white heads are female, and the ones with black heads are male. And these guys are trying to pull each other out. <laughs> Uh, they are quite territorial and they do often fight with other couples. So you don't normally see them in groups unless they're going to have a fight. So that's why they're so noisy. But they are probably one of the more pretty birds we have on the river. They're really quite stunning with their feathers, those ones. Just going to head up underneath our willow tree here. It's quite a nice spot for photos and things. Okay. I like them underneath this bit. It's my favourite part of the tour, actually. Bending. Yeah, ah, it's good. <laughs> Now we are quite lucky that the river's quiet. Uh, the Avon is a public riverway. Mm -hmm. If you want to bring a boat out on the river, you can, but it's not allowed to have a motor. Yes. Uh, motors cause a lot of noise. They yeah. turn off the bottom of the river and often destroy the ecosystem, but they do scare away wildlife in the trees as well. We've been introducing native birds to the park. So you might be able to hear tui, fantail, Kiddaloo wood pigeon and all kinds of other New Zealand native birds in the trees around us. We have brown and rainbow trout in the river, as well as long and short-thin eels, as well as other smaller fish, but they're quite hard to see and the water's a little bit murky. I think they're doing the weeding again. Now, I will try to identify as many of the species as I can. Now, we'll allow anything that's man or wind powered. So our punny boats tend to be the biggest boats for pineapple in the park. Uh, a lot of the boats in this area are hired out from the sheds, but it doesn't stop anybody bringing a boat from home. And it will turn the river into a bit of a weird traffic jam on a really hot day. It could be super busy. Hundreds of boats on the river in fact. But today is pretty quiet. Now you can hear up in the trees that we've got the cicadas, which is those lovely creaking noise you can hear. Uh, cicadas, if you haven't seen the cicada, it's like a really big fly, probably about two inches long. And they make that noise by rubbing their wing carapaces together as part of their mating suit, uh, ritual. Now those insects can get very loud. A few years ago, we had a big heat wave in crisis where it hit like 37 degrees for about three weeks. It made the cicadas come to life and every single tree in this park was covered in hundreds of them. The noise was that loud that you could hear a steady drone from anywhere in Christchurch. So it didn't matter where you were, you could hear them. Uh, they brought a decibel reader into the park to find out how loud the insects were. And they reckon the park is a steady 97 decibels, which is like standing next to a jackhammer or a jet engine. <laughs> so yeah, it was incredibly loud. Uh, the punters were actually required to wear air protection whilst punting, because it was so loud. It's crazy, eh? Hey? There's only a few of them around in the trees, but yeah, when you've got thousands of them all making that noise, it's incredibly loud. Oh, looking for food. Now there must be weed in the river, that's why all the bits are floating down. They weed the river once or twice a year. Um, just the mallard ducks, and they're the ones that roll up on the banks there. Uh, mallards are the, effectively the mutts of the duck species. So if it quacks like a duck, looks like a duck, but you're not sure what it is, it does become a mallard. Uh, they're the main reason why countries have hunting seasons for ducks, because they multiply incredibly quickly. Uh, but they have lots of different markings, like we've got black and white ones, we've got spotty head ones, that one's called Domino by the way, and all kinds of other markings, but they're all effectively mallards. <laughs> they are the most common ducks you'll find in the park, they're very, very common, you'll find them just about anywhere in the world. In fact. Now a lot of the trees, plants and flowers in Hackney Park have been donated from all around the world. It is a collection. We have got some really, really special trees in this park as well. I can show you two of the special ones. The first one I can show you is this tall tree on the left. It's a very big tall one. 
This tree is a giant sequoia redwood, and it was a gift from the governor of California about 130 years ago. This one? Yeah, that one there. Wow. Now, giant sequoias are the largest trees in the world. The largest one being over in the USA called General Sherman. General Sherman is 87 meters tall, which makes it easily twice what our tree is, but he's also wide enough to block up the river if he was sitting in the river. So think of a tree that's as wide as this river and twice the height of that one. Uh, General Sherman is about 3,000 years old. He's the largest living tree by mass. You can look it up on Google or something. Our tree is only 130, which makes it a baby. It's <laughs> still growing. It's one of the tallest trees in the park and it is going to still grow. Now, the giant sequoia will be able to be seen from anywhere in Christchurch when it is fully grown. It will just tower over all the other trees. But it will take nearly 800 years for it to get to fully grown. They're one of the longest living creatures on the planet, giant sequoias. So yeah, it'll be thousands of years before we see it fully grown. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, General Sherman is at least 3,000 years old. Yeah, if you look it up on your phone or something later on, he is an absolute monster. He's wider than most people's houses. The other tree I can show you is the most important tree, and it's inside this hedge on the right-hand side here. So inside this hedge, I'll point it out with the pole. It's this tree here with the green tag. Now that tree is the most important tree in the park. It's the Royal Albert Oak. That tree was a gift from Queen Victoria. Wow. to celebrate her son Prince Albert's wedding to the Princess of Denmark back in the 1850s or 60s. Now when Prince Albert got married, Queen Victoria famously forgot to get everybody a gift. It was a... It was a uh, before they planted the Royal Oak, this whole area was called the West Christchurch Reserve. And it was just an area of land which they didn't have a plan for. And they were using it for uh, hunting and fishing, they were raising horses on this land, and even had military barracks in this area for training and manoeuvres and things. The Hagley Park could have easily been houses. They really just didn't have a plan for it at all. When they got sent the Royal Oak, they planted it behind us here, and this area on the right became the Botanical Gardens. They officially opened the Botanical Gardens in 1864, under the title the Royal Gardens of New Zealand, which was a big deal. The Royal Oak was the first gift we had from the British Royal Family here in New Zealand. And Christchurch got it because Christchurch was the biggest city. They actually thought Christchurch was going to be the capital at the time. Uh, when they renamed the Botanical Gardens to Royal Gardens of New Zealand, by some sort of mistake or clerical error on a map, they renamed the whole reserve the Royal Gardens of New Zealand by accident. So the whole park is just a massive mistake. They only wanted the Botanical Gardens to be the Royal Gardens, but when they named the area of Royal Gardens, it became incredibly difficult to build on. Then they go. Have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the whole park was just a mistake. They, they, you couldn't build on the Royal Gardens, so Christchurch had to be built around it. So that's why the park's so big. Now, the tree is a personal gift from the British Royal Family, which makes our park royally appointed. We're actually one of the few places outside of the UK that can claim it. And it's also a handpicked gift from Queen Victoria. Now, that does have some historical significance, because there was only a handful of those acorns ever selected. And not all the trees were planted. So some of the trees were lost, some of the trees were stolen, some of the trees died before they got there, and some of the trees just didn't grow, which makes our tree very, very rare, and we have to take good care of it. Now, the Royal Oak is the only tree in this park we have to get permission to trim. So if we want to trim that tree, we have to contact and get permission from London to do so first. Very good. It's the only tree in the park we have to do that for. It's also the only tree in the park which comes with a bodyguard. So someone from the United Kingdom gets a paid two-week holiday in New Zealand to come and check on the tree once a year. It's actually an official royal position. Now for those two reasons, the Royal Oak is officially the most important tree in the park. <laughs> and we're going to swing around here and we'll head back down towards the boat sheds. Uh, the boat one today is the Queen Elizabeth II, named after obviously the late British Queen. So everybody's having a queue. The planting in there and then we went to walk in and I found this. I found these flowers at the botanical part of the botanical garden. So pretty. Look at them. Lovely, lovely, lovely flowers. And thank you so much for subscribing and watching our video. Kavias Isimar and Travel. Love you. Thank you. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, click, like, like button. Thank you.